Hello and welcome back to Shio and Mast. I'm Mast, that's Shio, and we're doing this. <laughs> Hi again, Mast Fear. Did you know I'm part duck? Because <laughs> look at my pose. I am part fucking duck. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but I'm just going to trace along here. I think we realized in the first episode you <laughs> can't. And now I'm British for the rest of the video. <laughs> <laughs> You're just walking. Hi, I'm British a fucking duck. That's, I just. It's a, she's a duck. All right, so put a put a, put a fucking picture of a duck up there. I please. agree. Put a duck right there. I also forgot to start the timer. Well, ah, <laughs> yeah, uh, cut. Okay, we're good. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> Technical difficulties, but Don't worry um, about it. We're fine. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club Day Two. Um, as I feel like stated a thousand times in the first video, uh, we're going for Best Bay Yuri. No, absolutely. So uh, we're here to see. We even zoomed in on her. How this uh, plays out. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So I I am having so much fun with this game. I'm glad um, it's already. It's. I think we've said this. Mass here. You only know up to the end of day I know, two. Only up to the end of this. So let's let's get on with the show and let's see what's up here because I want to get right. to day three by the end of this recording session. Pardon my burp in the middle of my sentence. All right, Glad to say you didn't run away from us. Ha 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 ha. Quack. I mean, <laughs> he's on to what? me. What? <laughs> he's on to me. Baz is your line. Oh, no, no, don't worry. I didn't hear the quack. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. It was, I was a little, I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. That was tough, way tougher than it should have been. Thanks for keeping your promise, Mastvere. You just hear quiet quacking in the background while... <laughs> I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst in a literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come <laughs> on! Like, he deserves any slack. <laughs> Not, Natsuki, are, are you sure there isn't someone else in the room? Like, are you just. Still can't uh, see. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, so you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. I'm just gonna make him Patrick Warburton and last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously. Then you won't see the end of it. Fuck. Quack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> I always forget she's British. <laughs> Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Mangaka. <laughs> Mangaka. <laughs> Monomango, you could do. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Masphere always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. Isn't it great to do a normal voice every now and then? A normal? <laughs> <laughs> he helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori... That's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. I is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Masphere can become good friends, too! Uh, um... Oh... Sayori. Oh, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> me? <laughs> what?! <laughs> <laughs> Ellipses. <laughs> As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wh wait, S Sayori. Uh, me? Um, not, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. <sighs> Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, are you? No, she absolutely was. <laughs> and she just dips? She just <laughs> fucking dips? Sayori out. 
I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. It, is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. It's the encyclopedia of ducks. <laughs> we're all trying to learn about Monica, but we're all just stumped. There's nothing to read here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your in your attention, even if you don't usually read. There's a lot of pictures of ducks in here. <laughs> <laughs> and we could, you know, d discuss it if you wanted. Th this is... <clears throat> how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I'll look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities in the club. But as usual, she's too busy eating breadcrumbs <laughs> off of the side of the pond. <laughs> but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner, just gentle quacking from the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around- Natsuki. Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse from the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, it seems to be she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Uh. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. Ellipses. <laughs> but that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter, sensing that I made her uncomfortable. Could you imagine if he was actually saying all of this out loud? It's just like all of them have the same like. <laughs> Is he you know, okay? The face, the face and soul leader when they meet Excalibur. Oh yeah. Just that up on the screen. <laughs> That's all of them. Oh my god. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so. That's the book you gave to me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, th that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something faintly obvious here that Urius, that, that Urius isn't telling me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Oh wow. But I uh, decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well, mm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Makarov. Markov. Port Markov. Makarov. Oh, wow. Macaroni. <laughs> Quackerov. <laughs> no. I knew it. It's about Monica. <laughs> Monica, no one invited you. <laughs> There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. All right. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give away anything. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. 
That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Why couldn't you just say that out loud? Like, that's not that bad. You already made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Masphere? No, it's not that. I enjoy a fucking horrifying story as much as the next guy, but I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so, uh, don't worry. He, like, signs the, he, like, signs the cross, <laughs> starts backing away, like... I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. She's totally the serial killer, without it's question. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. Probably from the other side of a knife. <laughs> when horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. <laughs> well, I guess it's all That's right then. That's such a shitty line. I haven't lost interest or anything. But Jesus I feel Christ. like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You, you don't have to. What are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Ellipses. <laughs> Here, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I'd put into my bag. All right, is it fine if I sit here, right? That was not what that said. <laughs> I, slip in, I slip it next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. <clears throat> I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe just a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry I was just... Yuri, you're, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I... I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> now... How do you answer that in real life? Like, stop apologizing. Okay, sorry, I will. How do you... Uh, That's what I do, because I apologize a lot. And people are always like, you apologize too much. And I'm always just like, oh, sorry. And then I'm like, oh, wait. Uh, uh. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Um. Because, <laughs> like, uh. what do you say? Like, because then it's like, for me, it comes off like I'm annoying them by saying sorry. So I want to apologize for doing the thing that they don't like. It's, it's a comment complicated time for anyone involved. Yeah, that's just a shitty question to ask people. Uh, here, this should work, right? I slide up uh, until... The <laughs> you slide into her DMs real fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, but it's a book, so it's like he's actually sliding a post-it note in. <laughs> hey, girl, can I get your number? <laughs> Let me get those digits. I slide up my, I slide <laughs> my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Why was that so difficult to read? Um, I suppose so. I don't think I've been in the literature club long enough. 
<laughs> to my, know how to read. My reading skills need hey, work. Hey, I'm Jared. I'm 19. <laughs> I never learned, learned how to read. fucking read. Yep. You timidly closes her own copy. Once we learn... Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Wow, this is going to be tough, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bear with me. I don't know what's happening. It's going to be a ride. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Uh... I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Yeah, I can see why. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Ready for once. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, this is actually a Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play Bold. <laughs> <laughs> she just whips out a deck, slams it on the desk. Sending you to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> you oh, like uh, horror? Here's my ghost monsters. <laughs> to turn the page. Uh, sorry. I, I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Yeah, I see your boner. I'm choosing to ignore it. <laughs> the desk is rising. Like, is everything okay? <laughs> I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Oh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I, I can't help but think <laughs> there's some underlying euphemism for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. You calling me retarded? <laughs> it's probably the least I can do. <laughs> Since you've been so- <laughs> She's making them seem like a- Wow! Okay. Oh. Stop. That's so since, mean. Since you've been so patient with me and Monica, our duck president. Quack! <laughs> Look in the background. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Now, question. Are they just there in the background? Like- just, Well, like- Like they said, Sayuri and Monica are having their conversation. Natsuki's reading manga in, like, the closet. Because mm -hmm. that's where she keeps all of her, like... Like, in, like she's in the closet? Like, like, she's actually in the closet reading. That's, that's amazing. Lives. That's her her home. That's hysterical. That's not really her home. Think her and her, you think her and her voice will fit in there? <laughs> she might. If you notice, it's a little quiet. Oh, my God. <laughs> her voice went to lunch. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. I don't know, the last time I read a book with somebody, it wasn't that intimate. Yeah, really. I just, my I, Last time I read a book, I was in eighth grade, and I wasn't intimate with anybody. So, my thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. They're fucking! All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You... think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but... She also second-guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but... They're kind, of, they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I... I see. Well, that's done already. Y uh, Yuri remains silent for a moment. But mass fear... That's probably... A terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. W wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Uh, sorry, I didn't really... No, you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Ellipses. <laughs> I guess I'm more meant that... Uh, I guess I more meant that... Is that what that actually says? <laughs> I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. That's literally what that says. Wow, that's... Okay. Uh, uh, Not fit for the literature club. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what 
are you saying all of a sudden? I... Quack! Quack! <laughs> <laughs> oh. We point like this. Okay, everyone. I'm going to use a fucking random voice because I keep forgetting she's British. Mm. Ugh. Okay, everyone. Quack blocked. You're a little fucking ellipses. <laughs> I think it's time we sh... The fucking about time... Whatever the fuck. We share poems. Fuck. <laughs> Quack. <laughs> I fucking know. Just make her like super angry. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Oh. Yuri exhales, scared <gasps> from finishing her thought. I Is saw that, that come up right, on the capture. Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Quack. Uh, it's not. <laughs> She's perfectly fine, but like. Every it's so like, often, um, she like buries you know, her head. You know how the Moogles come out? She's yeah. Quack. Quack. <laughs> Sorry, it's a tick. Like, every now and then, she just like stuffs her hand into her pocket, pulls out breadcrumbs, and just like furiously eats them. But like, for like half a second. <laughs> Sorry, it's just I was hungry. It's fine. Yuri realizes her head. Releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. I'm not a bad reader, I promise. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Well, you better. I w yeah, clearly. Or, or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um. That was smooth. I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. I question why there are breadcrumbs on the ground. <laughs> By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to chat with? Quack. I can't wait! Siori and Monica are enthusiastically pulling out- enthusiastically pull out their poems. Siori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. Monica's the type of person who literally went out and got her own fancy-ass composition notebook for this shit. Just for this specific assignment? Well, Absolutely. Just specifically for the assignment she gave out. She's mm -hmm. like, well, I, now I gotta get a book, I gotta get new pens. It's like this a leather-bound composition book. This is poetry. I'm sorry, this is poetry. It has to be Forgot presented like poetry. British again. <laughs> I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Here we go! Alright, honestly? Oh wow, you have the option to show it to Monica. Well, okay, you can't write a poem for Monica, but you can show her the poems, because you have to show them to everybody. Okay. Because you uh, have to read everyone's poems oh. in return. Okay. Okay. So obviously, we have to do the wife first. Uh, Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Ellipses. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Uh, what was that? Question mark ellipses. <laughs> Confused ellipses. <laughs> Questioning ellipses. Did, did I just say that out loud? Yuri <laughs> first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I... Uh... He's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So... What kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Ellipses. <laughs> well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. 
She traces her fingers along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually more typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deli- uh, deliberate. You listening, uh, English majors? <laughs> <laughs> in other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if she it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki, or her voice. Do you mind if I read your book? <laughs> I like that they're two separate down. entities now. <laughs> I'm, I'm down. I'm down. Natsuki's <laughs> actually a mute. <laughs> she just has this giant eight foot six man following her around as her voice. He's like outside the window. Don't worry, I got you. Uh, please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if this is a rare opportunity for her. Which in itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't that supposed to be a literature club? Nah. <laughs> oh, this is short. Um, Ghost Under the Light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing, it must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last get, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calmly breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. Okay, we get it. You don't like, yeah, definitely. I get it. I'm sorry, I hit my mic. <laughs> Ellipses. I, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took a long time for you to read. Well, as we established before, <laughs> I think you think I'm an idiot. So, uh, <laughs> I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. <laughs> Probably mentioned that part. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. No, not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Well, I didn't get it at all, but I, <laughs> so you're into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> uh-huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Mastfear. Really? It has a ghost in it! I must have totally missed the book. It's not about streetlights, either. <laughs> streetlights! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Sayori so no. just starts singing Journey in the background. Quack. Uh, <laughs> well, I suppose you did only glance it over, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. I used to be a ghost hunter. <laughs> Hi, my name is Zach Bagan. <laughs> <laughs> These are my ghost adventures. Um, is there anyone in this room? They usually do more than Natsuki's tell us the <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could read my line, but I guess not. Anyway, they usually do more than tell a simple story or, <laughs> <I can't. laughs> or paint a picture. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> in this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only, only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's, it's nothing, well, really. I promised myself <laughs> I wasn't going to do that! <laughs> Don't read my life! I'm trying! Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Oh, yeah. No, fuck. I mean, <laughs> you think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know... I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Mastfear. Um, me too. You do the best for you. I do my best. Alright. Alright, so we're at 30 minutes. We just Should we forge on? Well, do you want to like, fade out, do an episode, fade out? Yeah! Because it's day two. Alright, so we'll do, uh, we'll skip here, and then, uh, we'll come back right after this right after these messages there are no messages we're not sponsored hey am i hello my name is monica and i have something to say ducks <laughs> feed us bed more breadcrumbs ignore the don't feed the duck signs please you guys are my only hope please, at food help me. i implore you feed the ducks feed them all <laughs> my family is hungry <laughs> oh no <laughs> poor monica <laughs> She's a growing girl. <laughs> Poor right, Monica and those are the messages from duck her. family. Anyway, messages from our sponsors, do you think which if, we don't have. Do you think if Monica um, like types the word fucking into her phone and it autocorrects it to ducking, like, do you think it's the opposite for her? Like, she types in ducking and it corrects it to fucking and she gets mad? Probably. She'd be like, no, I'm talking about my family. <laughs> Oh my god, are we cutting here? Yeah, definitely. <laughs>